Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please click that subscribe button. And I'm doing an unedited video. You could hear my kids playing in the background there. So I like doing unedited videos from time to time about things that are currently on my mind and I have to upload. So I just go directly from my camera phone and direct to YouTube. So again, you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And again, if you're new to my channel, you like what you see, please click subscribe. And I just wanted to briefly touch upon the news that Best Buy is going to stop stocking CDs. I think within a couple of months they're going to do away with all of their you know, CDs. They're going to keep a limited amount of vinyl, but I don't know what what Best Buy near me actually sells vinyl. Truth of the matter, I have not been buying CDs at Best Buy for ages. I mean... Best Buy has gone downhill as far as what they were stocking for CDs anyways over the years. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's a plain, simple fact. So if CD sales dropped at Best Buy, I blame it partially on them. Because let, catalog titles. Catalog titles. If you wanted greatest hits, you could go in there and get like uh, Phil Collins' number ones or, or something like that. But it wasn't always like that. This is the Birds reissues that came out in 96. I think April of 96. I got these all at Best Buy. New 20-bit mastered expanded editions. This is the first four that came out. And I got these at Best Buy. Best Buy used to be an awesome place to go and get catalog titles for let's say $11.99 or $10.99 and you could always trust them and that was in the 90s over the years even when CDs were still in their heyday they stopped carrying catalog titles you, you could go in there and get a lot of the newest hottest releases at that point but when it came to a catalog title especially something like the birds uh no so partially it's them an article that uh, I have read that I will try and find and will eventually ha have linked in the uh, description here basically ends with CDs are still, even though CD sales have dropped tremendously, CDs are still a viable market despite what the media wants you to believe. And I've said that before. I agree with that. What's surprising with the uh, the vinyl resurgence that has happened and they were there was there were again those naysaying articles that came out towards the end of the year only f for the beginning of the year to basically say oh vinyl sales again have risen so with the vinyl resurgence that has happened you would think that best buy would be stocking vinyl but um they really haven't gone that way and even the Walmart, which is about a mile away from me, some Walmarts are selling vinyl, mine doesn't. But I have not been buying CDs from Best Buy. As far as CD sales, I've been going to Amazon. As far as vinyl, I like to... I had to hit my pause button there. Where was I? So as far as vinyl goes, I normally go to... Uh, a place that I've talked about before, uh, Zia's. I like usually like going into the stores and seeing what new vinyl there is and getting it right there. Because uh, then I can get a mixture of new and used. Only if I can't find it there will I go to Amazon to get vinyl. And Amazon is usually good, except there have been a couple of mishaps. But as far as CDs, I've been ordering from Amazon because Amazon basically has some of the best deals around as far as, as CDs. So... I'm not really concerned about Best Buy stopping their CD sale, uh, their their CD sales, because people still buy CDs. I mean, I have a video that I've done a couple years ago about physical music and all this stuff, but I'll say it again. It's worth repeating, and I don't want to be condescending here to towards young people who love having the music on their phone and loading it up with music and don't know the joys of sitting and listening to an album from beginning to end. But eventually, you will discover it. Do I stream? 
Yes, I stream. I have Amazon Prime. I'm an Amazon Prime member, so I will stream some things on Amazon. But if I like it, I want to own it physically. Um, there have been a couple things that are just not available anymore, so I've, I've burned them onto a CD. Because I still like the physical object. If I want to, I like the artwork. I like the liner notes. I mean, I go on a journey. But I will say that all these streaming services, these you know, streaming sites, be it Apple, Apple Music, Tidal, Beats, or whatever it is, uh, Spotify, all you're doing is paying for a service. All you're doing is paying for a service. I mean, there's stories out there of people who've had to switch computers or their computer crashed and they've lost all their music. Or people who've had their, their music in the I, their iTunes library, all the downloads that they did for iTunes, uh, Apple doesn't update, and or iTunes doesn't update, and for some reason they've lost all their music, including the stuff that they uploaded themselves. There's horror stories out there like that. So when I say... When you buy a vinyl record or a CD, it's yours forever and ever. I mean it. Now, if you don't really want to own it forever and ever and ever, then by all means, go ahead and stream it. But if you love the music so much that you uh, you don't want the fear of losing it, then buy the physical product. Um, it, it's something that has that has confused me. Where has the joy gone of, of you know, sitting down and actually listening to a full album from beginning to end? Much like watching a movie from beginning to end. Much like going and reading a book from beginning to end. I mean, it scares me that eventually we're going to get to a point where we're going to be streaming our favorite chapters from a novel and that's it. You're not going to get the whole story. I hope it doesn't get that way, but... I still have that joy, and a lot of serious music fans still have that joy. So, uh, kids or whoever, I'm not trying to be condescending here. I understand the convenience. You got the music on your phone. I still have an iPod, and I like this little iPod. But keep in mind, especially now with things happening with net neutrality and all that stuff, I mean... People were shocked when iTunes was able to go in and put that U2 album on, even though you still had to download it yourself. But, oh my gosh, this is in my favorites on iTunes. Well, yeah, you don't control it. Apple controls it. You don't control Spotify. Spotify controls it. You don't control Tidal. Jay-Z and whoever uh, runs Tidal controls Tidal. I mean, they control it. You're just paying for a service. You technically don't own it, so if... You know, if they decide to make things not available or whatnot, that that will event. If they decide to jack up your rates, and if you don't pay for the prime membership at some point, if they do something like that. Then, who knows what will happen to your music? So, getting back to the Best Buy thing, I'm not concerned. I still got Amazon. I still got my local stores. It's no need to panic, physical music lovers. CDs are still be around. People are still buying CDs. Maybe not in the great quantities like they used to, but people are still buying CDs and people are definitely buying vinyl. So we have our options. Thank you very much. I see I'm going on nine minutes here. So again, keep physical music alive. When you buy a CD or vinyl record, it is yours forever. And until we meet again.